welcome to Vedic Life Coaching and welcome to my astrology song series. Now I actually recorded this entire song series on a different channel late last year but I ended up rebranding and changing what I do a little bit and I'm launching it on this channel this year. So if you have seen this then yes that was me who made it before uh, and if you're new to this then I think you're going to have a lot of fun. In this song series what I'm doing is I'm going through each sign and I'm going to dedicate a song to each sign that represents that sign, that expresses the energies and the qualities of that sign. It's so incredible to me that you know, here on Earth, we channel the energies of our neighboring planets, our neighboring stars. We channel those energies every day through our systems, through what we do for a living, through our art, through music, through storytelling, through all kinds of ways. You know, that hermetic principle of as above, so below really is in operation. And it's quite incredible when you look out for it, you start to see it everywhere. And it's amazing how the grand story that is told through the zodiac, you know, of, of the beginning of the hero's journey in, in spring, right through to summertime, through to the depths of winter and the end there at Pisces, that entire story really is told time and time again through our activities here on Earth. So this series is also part of a bigger playlist of content that I want to create, which is looking at astrology as a creative language. It's a fantastic creative language. It's so incredibly rich. And I believe storytellers can use this, filmmakers can use this. People who are creating art for people, I think the Zodiac is a wonderful thing to learn, to learn in its entirety. You know, I mean, yes, you could just learn your sign and your partner's sign and then, you know, not watch anything else. Of course, that's absolutely fine. In fact, I encourage that because you're probably pressed for time. So don't feel like you have to watch all of them. But if you are a student of astrology or if you are a filmmaker or, you know, you're engaged in creating art for the collective consciousness and you want to get to know other personality types, you know, the build of different types of consciousness, different types of individual personalities. If you want to get to know that kind of information, it's also great for people who are interested in psychology, people who, people who love people, you know, this is the perfect thing to learn. And it's really fantastic when you learn this language. And then when you interact with people in the world, you can kind of guess who they are in many ways and you can almost and people don't like this people don't like being reverse engineered I have discovered but <laughs> I have discovered from doing that and then having people kind of go okay you're a bit you know to me too well you know like it, 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 that's not great so, so don't reverse engineer people in front of them but <laughs> but do uh, learn this language and you know it, it will give you quite a grasp on people and how to deal with people and how to better be, be a better friend, be a better lover, be a better family member, be, you know, be with that other better. So I, I think there's a lot that just about anyone can gain from learning the Zodiac. So in this series, one of the things that I'm going to do, and by the way, I also want to say that it's perfect for, so if you know your Western sun sign, then you can definitely look up your sign in this series. If you know your Vedic rising sign or your moon sign, then you can look yourself up in this series. Whatever sign you are, maybe you've got, you know, Mercury in Taurus or you've got um, the moon in Leo or, or you've got, I don't know, Venus in Scorpio or something like that maybe you know all your planets and maybe you know where they all sit so you can you can watch and, and get a feel for um for the signs really that's that's really what's going on here and the other thing that I want is I want for each person if you associate with a particular sign I want for you to watch your sign and come out of it feeling great feeling like wow I've got the best sign in the zodiac 
Each one of these is designed to be a celebration of you, a celebration of your sign, a celebration of an aspect of your personality, you know. And I, I mean, many people don't associate with one particular sign. And that makes perfect sense to me. I, I'm one of those people. I don't particularly associate with just one because I've studied too much astrology. And by the time you studied all your Vedic charts, all 16 of them, you very quickly come to discover that you're, you're a little bit of everything. So I don't particularly... Um, at this point in my life associate with one sign I did you know maybe 10 years ago but uh, but now I can't but throughout this series I'm going to be drawing and redrawing this diagram which I'm drawing for you right now and this diagram is a zodiac wheel so I'm actually going to use a wheel this time if you've watched me before in other videos you'll notice that I use the North Indian diamond uh, style but for this song series I'm going to be using the zodiac wheel now in the western system they typically bring the, they, they take the really read the wheel around this way I'm going to be reading it I hope I've got this right we're going to start here this is going to be Aries and this is going to be summertime oh hang on my apologies springtime I've jumped the gun I was thinking up here Summer, fall, I'm going to call it fall, the American word fall, not autumn. The reason I'm going to use the word fall is because, I mean, that's genius. We fall into the depths of winter here. Do you know what I mean? The hard part, the part that people don't want, don't like, don't want to experience. No one wants to go through winter time. If we can avoid it, we would love to avoid it. Now with central heating, it's not a problem at all. But you think about it, in ancient days, I apologize. Look, at, I've already made a mistake, but I am just going to carry on. Spring, guys, I totally messed that up. You are going to see me draw this diagram a lot. And I'm going to run it around this way. We're going to go this way. We're going to go, you know, the rise, summer, or let's say the daytime. Uh, and then we're going to have sort of sunset and nighttime here or winter. I'm going to run it this way. I know that um, some people might disagree with that. There's a teacher that I had, Aussie guy, really brilliant guy, and he used to run them around this way. And that's why I'm teaching it in this way, because one of my teachers taught it to me in this way. So that's why I'm doing that. You will see this diagram pop up every now and then. Uh, I've got my notes on my laptop. You will see me refer to notes every now and then as well when I'm lost for words, which does happen every now and then. So I made a note here to say that, yeah, you're very welcome to watch all signs, especially if you're a student of astrology or you are a filmmaker or you create art or you're interested in the collective consciousness or you're interested in psychology and you're interested in reverse engineering people when you meet them. This is perfect. This is the place to be. You will learn a lot about all the different signs. And in a modern way, you know, I'm going to dedicate a song and we're going to go through the lyrics of the song and you'll be just as amazed as me as I was when I first wrote this whole presentation. I was amazed to see how, how accurately planetary energies are channeled through us here on Earth. It's just incredible. Often unconsciously, you know, it's amazing. Uh, I also made a note here to say that I have no bias for any sign or any music. Um, and that's, that's true. I, I didn't just pick from all my favorite songs. I did a lot of research to get to the songs that uh, are here. A lot of songs were shortlisted. I did a huge amount of research. It took me quite a while to put all this together. It was so much fun. So that's why I'm really excited to share it with you. Uh, and so there's, yeah, I'm not really biased with music. You know, some of my favorite artists just didn't make the cut. So I really did um, treat this as, uh, as a project where I decided to be unbiased and I really wanted to truly reflect the essence of each sign. So I'm going to let you get to it. You can click on your sign and watch your sign. Uh, and do share this with friends if you like this kind of content. And especially, this is the big thing I have to say, 
please comment because especially if you have, for example, a song that you think would be a better dedication, put it in the comments, suggest it, you know, and I'll read your comment and I'll probably go, oh, darn, why didn't I think of that song? So feel free to share your thoughts. Feel free to share what you think would be a great song for your sign. Well, thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you. I'll see you in Aries. We're going to kick off the song series. So how about I see you in Aries?